So just before we got out of the gate, you know, we started hearing gunshots, and these were sporadic gunshots. Right. And you know, just was it heavy? The scare, was it, just... it was very heavy, okay. actually. Um, very heavy gunshots. And uh, you know, just the brain freeze you'll have at that point. Mm -hmm. You're like, what do we do? The gate was open, mm -hmm. and you could almost see, you know. So, was it from close by? Could you tell where it yeah, was? Yeah, it was from? the gunshots were coming from the left side. Mm -hmm. uh, that was very easy to tell because they were really close in the neighborhood. And so, you know, we're just in that moment and we're like, what do we do now? The gate was open. One of my cousins who had opened the gate actually had to take cover on the wall of the gate okay. because we just didn't know what was going right. on. Um, and so Chris, who was driving the car then, had to reverse back into the compound, the back of the compound towards the kitchen side. Mm -hmm. And then um, we stayed right in the car for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, and we were wondering, what do we do? Do we get out? You know, a stray bullet right, could just right. come onto where you are. Um, so my auntie, who was now on the kitchen balcony, said, you guys come into the house. Come, come, come. You know, you, yes. you, you're at a risk, you know, wherever it is that you are. So when I was getting out of the car, because we had stayed in for about 10 minutes, so the rest of the guys came out and I stuck there because I didn't know what to do. And I was like, oh, my God, this is actually happening a day after my traditional wedding right. and I didn't really think it but was going to happen. But then at that moment, you still do not know what's happening. You don't know if it's, you know, thugs, yeah. you don't yeah. know anything. Well, not exactly, because mm -hmm. the previous day we had had some gunshots and we had been asking what exactly they were about and they had said, you know, there's some bit of insecurity going on, uh, there's an operation going on. I didn't know really, I didn't know the details of okay. whatever it was, yeah. So on Sunday when that happened and we started hearing the gunshots, you know, when you connect the dots one and two, you probably get the, the, the answer. Problem. Yeah. So at, at that moment, <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. I didn't know if to call my brother and say, hey, where I am, please don't come over here. Yeah, so, because he's the one who had dropped me off earlier. So I walked to the veranda, and then I'm like, what do I do now, you know? And then the gunshots were really heavy, and mm -hmm. they're so sporadic. So I started to walk close to where the rest of the guys were, and that was towards the kitchen side. So we were actually watching from there, and I said, you know what, this actually is something serious. This is newsworthy. Yeah. So my journalistic instincts, kicked of course, in. kicked in. Yeah. And I got my phone and started recording some videos. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you could and hear you, the Actually, from the videos, you the could videos. tell it's like you're not too far away from, yes. you know, where all that was happening. Yes. Um, we're maybe about three blocks yes. away. We were at the fourth block where we were. And, you know, I started just recording some videos. And then shortly after, we started seeing smoke coming from, you know, just that distance. Right. And so I still got my phone and took some videos, you know, and citizen journalism, the rest of the guys who I was with, some took pictures, some took videos, you know, it was and a very... And uploaded them? Um, not, actually, not really. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't upload them. It was only I who uploaded one on Instagram, and then I sent a Facebook post. I didn't share any videos on okay. Facebook. It was just one on Instagram of the flames of that the were flames. coming from, from the scene, yeah. 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 Um, and then, we, you know, the gunshots continued, but this time they were in intervals, yeah. And shortly after that point, you know, somebody came home. He said he was a PRO of uh, the army, and he said uh, he was just, you know, trying to make sure everyone is fine around uh, mm -hmm. the neighborhood and stuff. Um, so, you know, he said a bit about what was happening, and then he left, yeah. So... Now, it was coming to three, of course. Uh, my auntie, who had stopped whatever she was doing, because she was trying to prepare lunch yeah. for us, she stopped whatever she was doing. So after three, she started cooking now again.